Hey there, HVACers. So we're back again with another how-to video using SkillCat simulations. Today we're going to clean a condenser coil. So we're going to learn why that's important and we're going to learn how to do it. So here we go. And anytime you're watching these videos, feel free to join me by doing it yourself on the app. Um, I can post the links While in the videos. cleaning the coils, the first step is to equip the safety equipment. Click on all the safety equipment from the safety equipment box to so enable them. Gloves and goggles. You are now safe to clean the coils. Let's learn how to clean condensing unit coils. Before starting the cleaning, let's switch off the condensing unit. Click on the disconnect you know, I box always icon preach to about zoom the disconnect. in. Click on the power switch of the disconnect box. So this is one that I was showing, telling you guys about yesterday. Sometimes they will look differently, but there will always be a way to cut power to that system. Click on the condensing unit to get a closer view. Drag and drop the condensing fan assembly into the storage box. So obviously you're going to need a drill and take out the screws. This in the storage box. Drag and drop the vacuum cleaner into the condensing unit. We're going to vacuum out all the leaves first, friends. Super important. Click they get the stuck in the coils, right? Button. And they stop our ability to have ample airflow. Drag and drop the vacuum cleaner into the all kinds of problems with cooling. Done with that. Be you really careful not to bend the fins the when you back inside the condensing unit. Your next job is to clean the condenser coils. Drag the coil cleaner from the toolbox and drop it on the coils. All right, so we're gonna use some coil cleaner. I recommend hosing them off with water from the inside first. Click the button but on the coil if it's not bad, spray then foam on the you coils. don't need to. Drag and drop the coil cleaner into the toolbox. So your foaming coil cleaner will push the dirt and any debris out from inside the coil. That's why it's so important. I you like to use Viper. You have successfully sprayed cleaning foam on the condenser coils. Now your next job is to clean the coils with water. Drag and drop the hose. So pipe if on you're the not using unit. Viper, if you're using a coil cleaner, a foaming co coil cleaner that's not rinse free, you need to hose it off. You can't leave it on there. Rinse free, free coil cleaners will dissipate themselves. So all you need to do is wait until it's done dissipating and then you can return your unit um, to normal operation. So just make sure you look at the can and see whether it's rinse or rinse free. Click on the water tap icon to zoom in. Click on the water tap to start the water right, supply. So usually there'll be a water supply depending on what kind of building you're at. Um, if there's not, you can just use a regular pump sprayer. Many roofs have water supply taps on on the top of the roof. And if not, Click again, you can just fill your pump sprayer and do it that way. Spraying water on the coil. So we're going to always spray it from the inside. To zoom in. Click on the turn water our water tap, tap back off. The Drag and drop the hose pipe into the toolbox. <laughs> So we're done with the hose and our coils are super shiny clean. Drop the condensing fan assembly on the condensing unit. So the most important thing I want you guys to take from this particular coil, coil cleaning um, simulation is that we can clearly see through the coil. So if you can't see through the coil, you're not getting proper airflow across it. And that's one of the most important things about the, how these systems run is proper airflow. So you really, really need to make sure that you're not quitting that job before you can see through the coil all the way around. Um, if you're not sure, if you can't tell if you can see through it or not, there's a test called the dollar bill test, which we'll learn in a different simulation. Um, but yeah, there are ways to test that to see if it's clean enough. So now we got to put the condenser motor, Click fan on the motor back on. Box icon to zoom in. And we're returned to normal Click operation. On the power switch of the So we've done it. Congratulations, you've successfully cleaned the condensing unit coils. So this is so important. If you don't have proper airflow, your AC is not going to work properly. You're not going to get the correct um, temperature air coming out of the inside unit. You're going to have all kinds of problems that are caused by this. Um, make sure that your coils are clean every time you go for a service call or a maintenance visit. Make sure that you're checking those coils. Even if you're there for a service call and not a maintenance, you know, 
uh, visit, make sure that you're adding in enough money when you're bidding the customer to clean those coils if they need to be done because you can't just leave them. So even if that's not what you're there for, make sure you do it. It's a super easy thing that you can do that makes a huge difference and causes way less callbacks. So thanks for cleaning some coils with me, guys. And um, check out my blog on the Skillcat website. Scroll all the way to the bottom, click blogs. Um, check out uh, the HVAC blog, HVHX blog. Um, and when you see our logo, that's me writing. So there will be a blog attached to this to give you even more information. Thanks, guys.